Hello all students, we'll be solving question number 23 from CBSE sample paper on new pattern mathematics. The question says, you can see the question, the question says two cards are drawn successively with a replacement from a well shuffled pack of 52. Find the probability distribution of number of diamond cards drawn. So also find mean and the variance of the distribution. So this question is very simple because they have said with the replacement. Sometimes in the similar questions, if the question remains silent, then we always take that as without the replacement. So now we'll solve this question. Clearly the success is to get a diamond. So now we will solve the question. So it is very simple question since it is uh, with the replacement. So initially we'll write number of diamonds you know 13 number of uh, non diamonds that is other cards 39 and total cards 52 so probability of one diamond probability of a diamond getting a diamond or simply probability of diamond is 13 over 52. Since this is with replacement, we can cancel it. And the probability of not getting diamond is, that is, or QD, it's one and the same thing, is one minus one by four, which is three by four. Now, we have to draw the probability distribution. So, the random variable x is connected with the success of diamonds. This is related to diamonds. If you're not uh, fearful, if you are confident, then even by giving presentation, you can solve the question quickly. So clearly it is 0, 1 and 2. So either there'll be no diamonds or there'll be only one diamond and then there'll be two diamonds because two cards are drawn. So when I take x is equal to zero, meaning none is a diamond. That is QD into QD. You can handle it manually. So there is no need to apply binomial though because whenever they say it's with replacement you can apply binomial but this is simple a question there is no need to apply bpd or any other formula you can do it manually failure failure not getting a diamond not getting a diamond so this is 3 by 4 into 3 by 4 which is 9 by 16 so x is equal to 1 only one diamond only one diamond so there are two cases the first one is a diamond the second one is not or it could be that first one is not a diamond and the second one is since the probability is equally distributed so we can multiply this with two not in all the cases but in this case we are confident that the probability is equally distributed so this is two times one by four into three by four Although you can cancel two with the four in the denominator, but it is good to keep the denominator same. So it's six upon 16. You can also write three by eight, but it is better to keep the denominator same. Then we come to X is equal to two. Both the diamonds, both diamonds. So again, this is only one case success with success diamond into diamond so which is 1 by 4 into 1 by 4 which is 1 by 16 so this completes the question but but you have to make the table and you have to also uh, solve the other part of it when i say this completes the question i mean the initial part of it and then we'll come to the other part which is talking about uh, making the table and then find mean and variance. So now when we did uh, x is equal to zero and one and two and we got corresponding probabilities, we are now making the table. 
and this table will help us in finding mean and variance also. <coughs> so this is 9 over 16 if you remember, 6 over 16 and then finally 1 over 16 and this sum total has to be 1. So 9 plus 6 plus 1. Are we getting 16? Yes, we are getting 16. Now XPX. We are also summing up the corresponding values in XPX which is coming as 8 upon 16 and that is 1 by 2. So mean, mean the symbol is x bar or ex or mu. In CBSE, mathematical expectation is also mean. So it, the symbol is ex. So it is summation xpx, which is clearly 1 by 2. So the mean is 1 by 2. Now for variance. Again, we are multiplying xpx with x. So this is 0, 6 upon 16, 4 by 16, and this summation x square px is coming as 10 by 16. Variance. Variance of x is given by ex square minus ex the whole square. Or in simple terms, this can also be taken as summation x square px minus summation xpx the whole square or the mean square this is also x bar so now uh, by putting the value which is 10 by 16 minus 1 by 2 the whole square this turns to 5 by 8 minus 1 by 4 and by taking the LCM one could see that it is 5 minus 2 over 8 so the answer is 3 by 8 because the mean you know is 1 by 2. So the answer for the variance is 3 by 8 and for mean it is 1 by 2. The same is given in the CBSE answer sheet booklet. Thank you very much.